In today's video, I'm going to share five tips that will enable you to increase your speed and efficiency in Divi. Now, designing websites fast is very important because sometimes we spend so many hours trying to customize very little things on our websites. Now, these things can now be achieved using shortcuts and also Divi features. So this is what I'll be doing in today's video. Today's episode is made possible by DiviCake.com. Check out the huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link to that is in the description below. And also, if you want to design awesome looking websites using Divi, I have a course which you can get by going to the link in the description below. This is a beginner's course. It's absolutely free. But if you want to go the advanced level where you're designing professional looking websites, I also have a course which is called Divi Blueprint 3. Again, links to that is in the description below. There's a 50% discount. Now, another way of getting this course absolutely free is buying Divi using my affiliate link, which again is in the description below. So I feel like I've talked too much. Let's dive in and let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so at the moment, I'm in my WordPress admin dashboard. So the first thing you need to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages and click on add new. Okay, so let's just call this page five tips. Click on use Divi Builder and then we're going to go straight to the Visual Builder. Right, so what I'm going to do here is to just quickly go into a pre-made layout. Of course, we can build our websites from scratch. Uh, we can do that by coming over here to this first option, which says start building. But I'm going to make things easier and just go to pre-made layout. Okay, so this is where now we get to choose the layout that we need to use in our designs. So there's quite a lot of these and they're also here in categories. So you can choose the right category that you need and then you can go ahead and start building. So I'm just going to scroll down here and see which one I can use. So let's say, right, I'm going to go with, uh, let's go with this one here. Okay, car dealership. I'm going to click on use this layout. So in a moment, this layout is going to be loaded on my actual page. Right, great. So this is the design. I'm just going to delete this section here on the top because we don't need it. Great. So this is where my design starts. So my first tip is using multi-select. So when you design your website, sometimes you have to go in. So let's say in this example here with these blurbs, if you want to make a change maybe to the color or the background of this, you would need to go into each and every one of these one by one. Now that will take you a lot of, a lot of time. So the quick feature that I'm going to show you here is multi-select. So if I hold down the command key, and this is also the control key if you're on a PC. So as you can see, we have now this border around here. So I can come over here, click on it, and that selects it. I can click on the next one, and then the third one, okay? So now I've selected three items at the same time. Now, if I want to make some edits to these three at the same time, I can always go into this gear icon, go into my module settings. I'm gonna snap this to the left because I prefer working that way. Right, so now any change that you do over here will be applied over here on the right. So this is awesome. So I'm going to come over here to design and let's change the font here. So this font here, we, let's change it to Poppins. So I'm going to click here on this little brush tool, click this drop down. I'm going to search for my font. In fact, it's right here, Poppins. So you can see uh, right away, those three items that I had selected, the, the font has changed. So I can also come over here and change the font size. So let's keep it at 23. I like that. And you can also go ahead and change the color. So you can see here, I can play around with my colors. So I'm just going to keep things simple. I'm going to leave the color as that. So any other item that you go in and change will be applied to these three items that we've, uh, that we've selected. So I'll now go ahead and save. So that's a quick way of going in and making changes on your page. Now, this doesn't just apply to modules. You can also apply this to sections and also rows. So let's say you want to add a design to this row. So I'm just holding down my command key and select it. So now it's selected. And then let's say I need to select this row as well. Okay, so now these two rows are selected. I can now go into that gear icon. And let's say I want to add a background. I can just click this plus button, add my background. So now we can see the background has been added to both rows. So this one and this one here on the bottom. So multi-select is really, really cool. You can use that to make changes fast as you're designing your website. So of course, I'm not going to use this uh, red background. Uh, it looks really ugly. I'm going to close this. 
Right, so let's move on to the next thing. So let's say you want to move things around on your page. Now, again, it means you have to click move things one by one. So let's say I want to move this to the top. I would come over here, drag it to the top one by one. So as you can see, that's, you know, time consuming. I'm just going to undo. So the quick way here again is bulk move. So this is my second tip. So bulk move is really important because again, holding down the command key as if we were doing our multi select, I'm going to select all these items that I need to move, right? So now that they're all selected, I can now click and drag these to the top just like that. Okay. So now you can see all these three are now at the top. Now you can drag these wherever you want. So let's say I want to drag these. And uh, let's say I want to bring them down here. There we go. In fact, that was one of them. You need to make sure that they're all selected. So again, I'm going to select all these. Okay, so that's the three of them. So now that they're all selected, I can drag them wherever I need to drag them. So I'm just going to go all the way down here and I'm just going to let go just below the button. And there we go. Those are my three items. Now, of course, if you wanted to drag these um, before this update, you'd have to go in and do it one by one. So again, this is saving you a lot of time. Okay, right. So let's move on to the next item. So the next quick tip is copy and paste. So let's say you're designing your page and um, you want to make some quick changes or add items on different columns. So what you can do here, let's delete this for now. So over here, I can just copy and paste rather than going in, adding this module, making changes to it just to match the other one. So I just right click, copy module, come over here, right click, and then I'm going to paste module. So just by doing that, just right clicking and pasting, that is really cool. It's fast, but you can also use some keyboard shortcuts. So I'm just going to delete this for now. And then over here, I'm just putting my mouse over this module, Command C to copy. You now, if you're on a PC, it's Control C. And then over here now, all you have to do is to hit Command V on a Mac or Control O com, Control V on a PC, and that's your copy and paste. Again, this saves you a lot, a lot of time. Great. Now let's move on to the last one, or in fact, the fourth one, and this is copy styles. Right, so let's say, uh, let me come over here and make some changes to that blurb. So let's say I go in and um, I add a border. Okay, so let's say that's the style um, I want to uh, create for that. Now, if I want to add the same style over here to or to any other part of my website, it's easy. All you have to do is to right click, copy border styles, and then I'm just save this for now, and then you can come over here. Right click, paste border styles, just like that. So now if we didn't have this option, you would have to go into this and now look at how many, how many clicks I have to do just to achieve this. Okay. So you have to come over here to design border, and then you have to start adjusting your border. Now, if your border has a color, you would have to come in here, make adjustments to your colors and so on. So of course, this, this is just adding extra steps. So all you have to do is to copy the border styles and paste them. So that is in another quick way that you can use in to help you work fast in Divi. All right, so let's move on to the next one. And this is the extend styles. So uh, if I come over here, now I've, I've clicked on, I've right clicked here. So you see this option which says extend blurb styles. Now, if I select this, this now will ask me where I want to extend these styles to. So I can say it throughout this whole page, every time there's a blurb, all the styles will be applied to that. But if you click this drop down, there's also more options. So I can actually drill down and say, I want these styles to be extended on this section. Okay. Or on this row. So let's use this section. Okay. I'm going to click extend and now that has been applied everywhere where there's the blurb on this section. So these are the ways that you can increase your efficiency and speed when designing websites with Divi. Today's episode is made possible by DiviCake.com. Check out their huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link to that is in the description below. 
So there you have it. That's all I have for you in today's video. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and also the bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified every time I release new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.